What is going on lads, Double Two here bringing you guys a FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Squad Builder today on my channel and it's been a while since I've given you guys one of these so I hope you do enjoy it and today we are going to be using the 4 triple 2 formation which is a very good formation on the game in my opinion and it certainly is a very sweaty formation which we are going to be using for of course pace in this episode as it says in the title now the goalkeeper is going to be Rennie Adler could have gone with any Bundesliga goalkeeper as this hybrid is pretty simple um, could have gone with Neuer or the third and fourth Benaglio which I know is a great card if you want to go try him out but we went with Adler because he's a cheap option and he does the job um, now the first center back is going to be the 83 rated Jerome Boateng and I believe that is his upgraded version. And he is probably one of the best centre-backs in the game. Definitely one of the best players you can get your hands on. And he does a really good job in defence there. Alongside the 80-rated Borussia Dortmund player in Socrates. And he has some very nice stats on him. The 77 pace, 81 defending and 82 heading are his major stats. And he does a very good job in defence. Could have gone with uh, any um, Dortmund centre-back in that spot, but um, we did go with Socrates, as I know he's a good player. Now, the right-back is Pizcek, and he's one of the best right-backs in the game. A great player to get your hands on. He's got that 85 pace, good strength and height. He also has good defending, heading, dribbling, and passing, which are the main stats you sort of need as a right or left-back. Now, the left-back is an incredible player on the game. His name is David Alaba, and he's also a very good player in real life. Some say he should have got a Team of the Year card over Danny Alves, and I tend to agree. He does have 86 pace, 72 shooting, 83 passing, 83 dribbling, 79 defending, and 70 heading, which is incredible. Uh, an incredibly great player. He is in defense and such a good player to use in this team. Now we're going to move on into the Barclays Premier League, and we're going to be using Ramirez as the first defensive mid in the team and he has 88 pace, pace which is unbelievable in the game and he's just incredibly overpowered and this is a team guys that's going to win you some games um, definitely has for me and um, it's a great team to use Ramirez just gets up and down the pitch I think he's got good work rates or high working work rates I guess and the left attacking mid of the team is going to be the recently transferred Atsu could have gone with Oscar there, but we did go with Atsu because he does have that 92 pace. And I just wanted to try him out in attacking mid. Um, you could move him up to striker to see how he goes up there, but I'm not sure if his strength will really work in that position. Maybe a centre forward, but he does very well in an attacking mid position. Now the striker is going to be another another Chelsea player. Could have gone with that transferred Lukaku, which I do have in my club. But we decided to go with Eto as he's a great player and he does have that 91 pace, which is an incredible stat for this team, guys. It's all about pace in the attack, to be honest. And it's a very good team. And we're going to move over into the Serie A now using this Guarin, the 81 rated card. Incredible stats, 78 pace, 82 shooting, 82 passing, 83 dribbling, 76 defending, and he's got good heading as well. We've converted him from a centre mid to defensive mid, and he's a great player to use. Great stats and a good shot on him as well. Now we have converted Muriel from striker to attacking mid. He does have that 89 pace, which is the main stat which we are going to be using. Just going to see how much pace and how quick this attack is. And the striker, you've probably already guessed it, it is a Barbo. The, one of the most overpowered and sweaty players in the game. He's an incredible player to use, and he rounds up the team very well. And there it is, guys. The full team is completed, does get the full chemistry, and it's a great team to use in the game. Full of pace, and we're going to move on into a game very shortly, guys. So I hope you do enjoy the goals. So we have found ourselves an opponent, guys, and we're coming up against this guy with 95 chemistry. He's using a 3-5-2 Bundesliga team with the exception of Cavani in the attack. And it's a very interesting team. Good heading up top, and he also is using De Bruyne, who's an incredibly good player on the game. He does have three at the back, which is uh, very good for us, I guess, considering we've got a lot of pace in our attack. Hopefully we'll be able to get in behind there and score some goals. And um, we'll head right into the game in a second, guys. And hopefully we'll be able to come out with a result. Before we get started in with the clips and the goals of this game, guys, I do have to apologise 
for the quality of the gameplay as the game didn't really work out. The connection was incredibly poor and I didn't realise that when I went into the game which was my mistake, my bad. And um, all you're going to be seeing is the game pausing in places and it was an incredibly hard game to score some decent goals with. So the main goals you're going to be seeing are pretty sweaty and, you know... But um, that was the main idea of the team, I guess. It's a cheap team that's going to win you games, score some goals. Um, I'm sure I would have scored a couple of nice goals with this team if I played a couple more games, which weren't in a bad connection sort of state. But the first goal is a header, of course, with Eto. Um, great positioning by him and a really good ball from Guarin to send the ball into the back of the net off of Eto's head. Um, he does... Get lucky here because I do make a poor mistake in defence. Piszczek not picking up uh, his left mid. And he does swing it in to an unmarked Mandzukic in the box. Um, poor defending there by me. And unfortunately he does make it one all at the ninth, uh, sixth minute mark I do believe. Boateng does make up for his mistake in defence there with a nice goal from the corner. Um, which is pretty much the most common way of scoring, I guess, on this FIFA. Or at least one of the most common ways of scoring. Um, but it's a goal nonetheless. And for this team, I'm just going to take that, considering it's a team that's going to, you know, go out there and win you guys games, as I've said before. And we do also score another goal here with Samuel Eto, who is an incredible player, guys. Probably the best player in the team. And he does score a nice goal there with a good finish that ball from Piszczek I was actually trying to do a fake shot but somehow it didn't register that I pressed the button to do the fake shot it just registered the cross actually and it went through to Eto in the end anyway so that's just how bad the connection was and he also does go through with Blaszczykowski and score his second goal of the match in the 45th minute and he did bring himself back into the game but unfortunately for him we do have the ball down the wing there with Alaba getting up in a good position. Ibarbo has the shot and it's finished off with Ramirez there. Puts it into the back of the net and that pretty much secured the win. And we were able to hold on for the last nine minutes and the score remained that way. So it was a great game, good win for us. And that's pretty much all you're going to be seeing if you play with this team. Wins, wins, wins. Because it's such a great team. It's going to score your goals. I mean, it's probably one of the most fun teams that I've used on FIFA this year. I'm not incredibly sure why. I think it was just the fact that it was able to win me some games and score me some goals. So that's great. The best player in the team was Samuel Eto. And a quick review on the Atsu. I really don't recommend him. He's pretty poor and he didn't do anything outstanding in this team. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more content. And before we go, guys, I would like to end this video on a very big positive uh, positive for me, and that is that I have hit 100 subscribers. I think I'm on a couple more than that at the time this video is being released. But um, it's, a, it's a good milestone to have. I mean, it may not seem incredibly large at the moment with the likes of, I don't know, like a lot of YouTubers have a lot more than that. But, you know, you got to start off with some small milestones, and I guess that 100 subscribers is one. Um, so thanks for all your support with that, guys. Um, make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. And on my next um, live stream on Twitch, I will make sure that I do a nice giveaway on that. I'm not quite sure what I'll be giving away, but the next time I do live stream, make sure you get into that, and I will be giving away someone or something. We'll have to wait and see for that. So thanks for watching the video, guys, especially if you did stay till the end, as I know some may not. And I hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure you go out and buy this squad if you want to win some games. Subscribe for more content and make sure you drop a like. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.